Hey guys, Lance here, best day ever MTB, and it's a bike review day today. Uh, E-bike, yep, yeah, gonna be an E-bike. And what have we got? We've got the High Bike Xduro All Mountain 3.0, it's the 2021 model. So I think I've got all that right. Um, all right, so uh, let's have a wee closer look at this thing, eh? All right, let's get a gander at this thing. What do we think? Let's start with color, shall we? Uh, blue, it's quite a nice blue, uh, not too offensive. Uh, it's not a crazy color, it's not a boring gray or black. So I guess in the, in the color box, we'll definitely put a tick for color. Uh, looks. Oh, looks is a difficult one, this. I would call the looks of this kind of Marmite. And if you don't come from New Zealand, Marmite is a uh, yeast spread. You either love it or you hate it. And there's some interesting things going on. You've got this uh, rear triangle, some sort of funky looking angles going on here. I kind of like how they put the Magura brakes in there, which is a bit different. Um, the top tube, yeah, some interesting shapes and angles going on. And then you've got this uh, big battery uh, station on the top here, which we'll talk a bit, a bit more about later. So I think in terms of looks, we'll put down Marmite for looks. You either love it or you hate it. Now, before you guys start saying, well, what about Vegemite? Vegemite's better than Marmite. Um, this is a mountain biking channel, so let's not get into that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I must admit I don't mind a bit of Marmite sometimes. I'm, I'm undecided on the looks of this thing just yet. But anyway, we'll keep going. All right, one of the main features on this bike is it's actually a mullet, 29 at the front, 27 and a half at the rear. Now, I don't have a lot to do with mullets. In fact, my first mullet was in 2005, specialized big hit, massive 26 inch wheel at the front and a tiny 24 wheel at, uh, 24 inch wheel at the back. Um, weighed about the same as an e-bike, you pretty much pushed it up the hill. I also, during lockdown, um, also played around with the mullet idea. I didn't have a haircut for three months, so my wife gave me a mullet and I'd made a video to show that actually mullets were faster. But I looked so stupid I had to cut my hair and now I've gone back to being slower. But anyway, 29 at the front, 27 and a half. Very interested to see what that's like. The other feature you may have noticed about this bike is it has this uh, an extra battery that you can put on. Pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to do one quick run with the extra battery on it because um, that'll give you a, a range of or a battery of 1125. So you could do some pretty cool long runs on that. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to try one run with it and then take it off and see what it's like without it. So we'll start with that. All right, uh, first run down, I'm um, trying the bike with the extra battery. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, oh, oh shit, Woo. <laughs> nearly over there, eh? that was a mistake. Guess I should have looked first. What about this one? What? Okay, so that was a very short run, um, but I'm going to take the battery off because I want to feel what it ride is like to ride without that extra weight because I think that's how you'd ride the bike most of the time. All right, so we're into our first climb. It seems to have taken forever to actually get around to riding this bike. Had to adjust the, the brakes and levers because, I don't know, the guy who was riding this before must have had a 12 inch thumb. I don't know how he ever reached the gear lever. Anyway, we're in Eco, which is about as long as we'll stay in Eco. We'll go to Tour. It has that as well. And we'll go to EMTB and we'll stay in that all day because that's how I like to roll. I only ever use Eco, and I did use it yesterday actually on my other bike. But that's only if I have to do a long ride and I need to conserve battery, otherwise full power. There is a turbo setting as well um, above that, but to be honest, I just use EMTB. All right, let's start with, uh, I think it's the grade three trail. I was thinking of hooking straight into a jumps track, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. So I might start with this. I must admit the Magura brakes on this thing are unbelievably impressive. I've ridden them once on the, on the Cannondale and was super impressed then. They're almost too powerful. I think you get used to them pretty quickly though. I don't think there's such a thing as too powerful, but yeah, they just a small touch and you rapidly come to a halt.
Okay, so we're pretty happy with the brakes. What else has this bike got on it? Well, drivetrain. Um, SRAM Eagle SX. Uh, pretty low spec sort of drivetrain, I think, for this thing. Um, but to be honest, I've been saying for a long time now that I don't think you should be putting the money into an expensive drivetrain on an e bike. Uh, they wear out faster, they don't need the range, and I don't even think they need as many gears. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not too worried about the SX drivetrain on this thing. Um, I think it's probably perfectly appropriate. Yeah, you might think twice about that. Easier, nap. Lot. Now, one thing I have noticed almost immediately on this bike, and I don't know whether it's again the small wheel, it's very easy to flick the back around the corner. Um, I quite like it actually. I must admit, I am quite enjoying riding this whole mullet thing. Um, yeah, somehow you just feel as though you want to sort of throw the back, back end around a bit more. Um, it really was quite cool, which is really annoying actually, because I've just gone and bought myself a set of carbon 29 wheels for my e-bike, and the idea was that I would put it on my next bike when I bought it. Um, but then what happens if I get a mullet? I'll have to end up changing the rear wheel. So yeah, enjoying the whole mullet thing, um, but yeah, hadn't wanted to like it. All right, pick this trail to go up because it's actually a technical climb. Uh, well, this bit's pretty easy, but there are some technical bits to it. So good test for the climbing of this bike. One thing I did notice about this bike when I had the extra battery on, is it did have quite a rattle. And that rattle seems to have gone now, I've taken it off. And you certainly, I'm not sure which way to go here this way. Um, it does certainly handle better without that extra weight. Okay, so here's the big dilemma with this bike. Um, for $9,000 you can buy this bike, $9,000 New Zealand dollars, comes without the extra battery. It, to be honest, it looks a much nicer, smarter bike without those battery attachments and without the big battery as well. Um, so the question you have to weigh up is, do you want the extra battery on the chance that you might want to do a really long run or would you be happy with a 625 on a better handling uh, better looking bike one thing i have noticed with this bike is that the um battery the turns itself off the motor turns itself off after a relatively short period of time and so even when i've been um setting up a camera um, it's turned off and I jump back on and it's not going and also you turn it back on but it goes back to eco so yeah a little bit annoying that guess the other thing is uh, what's the noise like I actually think this one's really quiet um, really I quite like the sound of this one it's yeah nice sounding motor we'll give it a tick on motor as motor sound We have some absolutely stunning tracks here in Rotorua. So lucky to be doing this in a time of COVID. Just being able to do whatever I want. Ride in the forest, it's beautiful. Certainly the motor feels nice and peppy, eh? Coming up here, it feels really good. Nice consistent power. Hi, just having first lunch. Probably a good point to um, just tell you a few things. Um, now, probably some of you guys are just about to type there um, on your little keyboard warriors saying, Lance, this is not a comprehensive review. You should have taken the bike up into the rocky mountains and to the swamps, into the, uh, into the technical tracks. You should have ridden it in the rain. You should have had uh, riders of different size. You should have had lady riders. Why don't you invite Katie Winton along for a ride? Or maybe Danny McGaskill, he's good fun. What about some drone footages? footage? Well, to that I say, give yourself an uppercut. I'm a 50-year-old guy with one, well, actually two GoPros who can barely work out how to edit a video. So, um, I don't get paid to do this. In fact, I had to hire this bike so that I could try it out. Um, the good thing is, though, is you get my honest opinion. Take the bike for a ride, I'll give you my honest opinion on it. One grumpy old man's opinion of the bike. Um, so, as I say, if you want a comprehensive review, um, go somewhere else. If you want a grumpy old man's opinion, well, keep watching.
Yeah, you see I've stopped for a little bit to eat. Things turn itself off again. Turn it back on. And then you've got to cycle back into where you want. Anyway, minor thing. Okay, time to see how the high bike jumps. Watch out, Sam Pilgrim, here I come. It actually feels really nice. I must admit, very natural. Oh, that is a dream. Woo. All right, so this bike's uh, got the Bosch motor and uh, 625 watt hour battery, and you can add on another 500. Uh, I think it's amazing. I'd, I'd really be keen to, to try and see what you could do, like the old Ghost Road or something in the South Island. I think it'd be really amazing. Certainly better riding without the extra battery, and it's also quieter. Okay, this is a pretty good track to uh, oh. test out the suspension, I guess. Um, not the highest spec suspension on this thing. Rockshock Deluxe um, uh, Select Plus uh, shock oh. on the back, 160 mils rock. travel uh, front and back, and a Yari RC at the front. Now, if you watch um, these videos regularly, um, you'll know I ride with a group called Dad's Army. And the worst insult uh, that Graham can give to Zach is to call him a Yari lover. And in fact, that's what uh, Zach's current nickname on uh, our Facebook Messenger group is Yari lover. Now, I don't know that having a Yari is all that bad, um, but clearly my bike snob friends feel that the worst thing you could possibly have would be a Yari. Anyway, um, the suspension wasn't the plushest thing I'd ever ridden, but it wasn't bad. And to be fair, um, I hadn't really spent any time setting it up for this today's ride. Um, but yeah, I, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. But still, it handled pretty well over this rough stuff. I think the thing that impressed me most about this bike was actually the handling, which when I first lifted it onto the back of my car, um, I didn't think it was going to handle that well. Um, it certainly feels quite heavy. I don't know what it weighs, but it certainly feels heavy. Um, it's got a relatively short reach at, I think it's 448, but saying that, that's not much shorter than my large uh, Levo. Um, so I felt that felt pretty natural to me. 65 degree head angle, a degree slacker again than my Levo, um, and it did feel quite confidence inspiring. And the mullet at the back, also I felt that I could sort of throw the bike around the corners a bit better as well. So um, yeah, I think the number one thing I was impressed by this bike was actually just how well it handled. Now as I mentioned earlier in the video, I did pay to hire this bike, um, but if you do want to uh, hire one as well, or you're interested in buying one, I got this from uh, Electric Bike and Rotorua. I've hired a few bikes from them now, um, and they always look after me really well. So if you want to hire one, you want to buy one, um, anyway, just check them out. What an amazing day. You wouldn't believe it actually, as I was setting up the camera, a wallaby just came hopping straight on by. Of course, I tried to get the camera to film him, um, but he was gone too quick. Anyway, what do I think of the high bike? Well, if you'd have asked me that when I first uh, looked at taking this thing out, I wasn't too sure. It's kind of heavy, it's aluminium, it's a little funky looking. But did I enjoy riding it? Absolutely. This thing was a riot. Um, I, it took me about 20 minutes to get the feel of the bike. It's a little bit different to anything else I've ridden. Um, but once I, once I had it, it felt really good. And I would say I'm more confident jumping this thing now than I, I am, I've got a Levo, and I'm more confident on this than I am on the Levo. It just feels more natural. Um, would I buy it? Ooh, that's a hard one. I must admit, I wouldn't discount it. Um, 9,000 New Zealand dollars they're retailing for at the moment. Not the most high spec bike. You might want to put a set of 38s on the front or something. Who cares about the drivetrain? E-bikes don't need a fancy drivetrain anyway. The brakes, super powerful. So, yeah, it's not a bad bike. So, I might consider it. You never know. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, really love it if you did that. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.